Hi everyone, I'm Luca, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add sounds to your projects in Wick. Now, sounds are some of the most important parts of a game or an animation because they make your animations more believable. So here I've got a really basic animation of a horse running, and I'm going to play it. You'll see it's just, you know, a few frames over each other, and they're just going in sequence. Right? You've got about 70 frames in total. Not bad for the size of an animation, but I want to add a backing track to this. I want uh, a sound to play that makes this, you know, feel more exciting. And so why don't we make this horse part of like a chase scene? That could be pretty cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. And on this new layer, I'm going to make a new frame. In WIC, you can add sounds to the timeline by dragging sounds onto frames. To add a sound to your project, simply drag and drop a sound to your desktop. So here I'm just dragging over a sound. This is a WAV file, a .wav file. And what, I've, what just happened was I dragged it onto the screen and it got added to the asset library. Pretty cool. Now I can take this sound from the asset library and drag it over onto my frame. Once I do that, the frame expands to fill the entire um, size of the sound. Pretty neat. Now to preview this sound, I have to hit the preview play button right on the timeline, this little play button. And I can just hear my chase music background. I can pause it by hitting the pause and that's pretty neat if I um, but if I look my sound is actually extending over the frames of my animation so what I can do is I can either drag my frame to shorten it to the size of my animation or I can click on my frame and change its length to the length of my animation and just drag it right down there now when I run my project in full, hear the music. And we can see our animation play. So that's pretty cool. You can, let's say we, we thought that, that music was a little bit too loud. We can actually change the volume of that sound by looking in the inspector. So with my frame selected, I can drag this slider between 0 and 1 and make my sound a little bit lower or a little bit higher um, in volume. And so let's say I want, it, you know, I want it to be about half, and if I play it again, we'll notice that the sound is a lot lower than before. Pretty neat. And so that's how to add um, sound to a frame. Now let's say the sound on my frame is actually wrong. I wanted to add in a different sound. Well, I can do that by dragging a new sound in my project. So here I've got Jet Fueled Vixen by Kevin McLeod, uh, a really, really cool kind of grungy backing track. Uh, and I can just, you know, with this new sound selected, I can just drop it onto my frame. And you'll notice that it re-expanded to fill this new sound. I can run it. Pretty, pretty crazy sound. Um, and I can, you know, just change this back to the way it was before, uh, make it a 72 frame long frame. And yeah, now I've got my new sound. I can lower it again. All right, so that's how you add sounds to frames. Now, I'm gonna show you how to add sounds through code. So here's a new project that's an interactive project. Here we have a little balloon, and the balloon floats up and down, but when you click on the balloon, it pops. But that didn't feel too good, did it? Let's play that again. When the balloon pops, it doesn't really, it doesn't really have any kick, right? It doesn't feel alive. And so what we wanna do is say, hey, when the balloon pops, play a sound in my library. Play a popping sound in my library. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is drag in my popping sound just like before. Now I've got my pop sound in my library. So what I need to do is I need to tell the balloon, when you pop, play the popping sound. So let's open up the code editor and we can do that by dragging up this window, the code window on the bottom of your screen. And let's go to the part of the code that says, go to and play pop. Here, this is a really basic function. It just says when you press on this object, go to and play pop, which is the name of my popping frame right over here. And so let's go back to our object. And right before we switch frames, we're going to say play sound of pop.wav. That's the name of my sound in the asset library. Now, if I play this project again, I can go over here and hear a popping sound. And doesn't that feel a lot better when I added a tiny sound to this, to this interactive project? It just feels so much more exciting. Here's one more time. I think this is just so much fun. Right? <laughs> and there it is. That's two different ways to add sounds to your project in Wick. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, uh, drop a comment. Let me know what kind of tutorials you want to see next. We really, we have a lot that we want to make, but I, I want to know what the community, what the Wick Editor community actually wants to see. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to drop it in the comment section or go over to our forum at forum.wickeditor.com. Uh, and you can talk to us, talk to the developers of WIC, and you can also speak to the rest of the WIC community that's making games and animations every day. So thanks so much, everybody, and I'll see you next time.